Good morning, everyone. Mimi, say good morning. It is a beautiful Sunday today. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I'm now addicted to coffee in the morning. I don't know about you, but I cannot not have it. The smell gets me up in the morning. That's the danger of having a really nice coffee machine. You have to use it every day. Otherwise, it's like the cost per use is just not worth it. Okay, my morning just had a really bad start because I just realized that we don't have any more cow's milk and we only have almond milk and I just don't like almond milk anymore. It just, it doesn't make a good cappuccino. Maybe I'll go with iced coffee instead. I was going to have a hot cappuccino, a hot coffee, but I just feel like this hot tastes disgusting. So I'm just going to make it into a cold foam and have iced coffee but it just this is not the right milk and then when i don't have the right milk the coffee doesn't taste right and then my whole day is ruined okay so i'm going to make it cold foam i have no idea why this is so freaking noisy today it's usually not this noisy anyway so for cold iced coffee i just get my cup of coffee my two shots of espresso put in some stevia use up this entire bottle done done and dusted I need to order some more asap and then i just put this iced coffee i mean this ice water coffee in there because this is basically two shots of espresso and i want to dilute it with some water to make it essentially a cup of coffee and then i'm going to add <clears throat> my cold foam my almond milk foam which is not my favorite but it will do okay let's give this a try not gonna taste good Okay, I am gonna go run some errands because this coffee, it just sucks so bad. Oh God, it tastes like, ah. Uh, I should really put this in a coffee mug because I know this is gonna spill. Yeah, you know what? I'm just not gonna bring it. It tastes really bad anyways. Yeah, this is gonna spill. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know why, why I thought this was a good idea. Okay, I just put the coffee in here, but it's just gonna, I'm not gonna drink it. I don't know why I did that because it tastes so bad. But I just wanna have it with me just for extra security. It's like, oh my God, I can't go anywhere without coffee. Um, but yeah, like it just tastes so bad with the almond milk. I don't, I, you know, it's really insane to me that I used to drink almond milk like daily and I thought it tasted good. I don't know what was going on this i don't know what it was it's just like somehow the internet had convinced me that regular milk is bad for you and that is like bad for your digestion but i'm not lactose intolerant i drink milk just fine and when i was actually like a kid i think up until middle school or high school even milk has always been my favorite drink uh, milk has always been my favorite drink ever since I was a kid. But uh, anyway, so now I am going to the grocery store, doing a little grocery run to pick up some milk. I actually won't get a gallon of milk. I will get like a, one of those like really small containers because I'm actually leaving for San Antonio tomorrow. So I'll see if, I won't, if I'm able to do a vlog of the whole process. It's gonna be a family trip, so I don't know how much I can vlog. It's just always so awkward me vlogging around other people because I want to talk to the people that I'm around with instead of like focusing on a camera when I'm around people. But anyways, the coffee tastes really bad. And the thing with me is like before I became a coffee addict, I was 
really just a huge tea lover. Like I would need to have tea in the morning. I just need like a huge cup of tea, two to three cups of green tea in the morning, plain, no sugar, no milk. But now, ever since the pandemic happened and I was living at home, I still am living at home, but my family got a really nice coffee machine and it's like one of those really expensive ones, the barista style ones. And ever since that, I was just like, I just got hooked on coffee because like, how are you not gonna drink coffee when you have such an expensive and fancy machine at home? And now wherever I go, wherever I travel, like it doesn't matter if I'm like in the best coffee town, like in Seattle, San Francisco, I don't know if San Francisco has good coffee, but you know, I just do not think there's anywhere in the world that has coffee as good as mine because you only like the coffee that you make. You know exactly how you like it. I like half cup, <laughs> half cup coffee, half cup milk. <laughs> uh, yeah, like literally a huge latte, iced latte or a cappuccino. So yeah, I'm going to the grocery store because this coffee literally sucks and I'm gonna go grab some real milk. And I actually have Mimi and Momo in my car. They're being actually very good dogs. And you know, maybe I won't go to the grocery store. Maybe I'll take them out to for a little walk. It's not very nice out today. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll see. But they're being such good dogs. I feel terrible taking them to just the grocery store. Oh, you know, I should take them to Walmart because Walmart's more dog friendly. Yeah, I'll actually go to Walmart instead of H-E-B. Let me do a quick, um, how do I get out of this neighborhood? Are y'all the same? Like, do you need to have coffee in the morning? Because before this, I was a tea lover. Like, I would need to have the freshest loose leaf teas. Uh, no bad green tea for me ever even though I'm a coffee addict now I did still am very picky about my tea but now I just like I'm just so caffeine addicted and the thing is like with me my personality I'm already a very sort of anxious and energetic person and so my personality on top of caffeine it just like full-blown but anyways with coffee, I cannot have it black, even though when I love to drink tea, I would drink plain tea, but I, I think it's because coffee is so strong and tea is so mild, that tea I like to have it plain because if I add cream and sugar, uh, the tea flavor will be gone, but coffee is so strong that I need to have it with something. Um, otherwise, it just feels so bad. Anyway, I'm gonna take Mimi and Momo to Walmart because it's kind of hot today and Walmart is, I won't call it dog friendly, but they don't care if I bring my dogs. Um, and for those who are like, don't bring your dogs to Walmart. Well, you know what? They actually are my registered service animals. I have my doctor's note. And so don't come at me. And they are trained to potty when they have to go and not potty inside. And also, they are very well behaved in public. The only time they are not well behaved is when they're at a park. Um, but I let them be themselves when they're at a park because they're allowed to be dogs when, you know, it's we're not bothering anyone at a park. But in public, they are very well behaved. And I've been training them ever since they were like eight weeks old like literally well I got Momo when he was nine weeks yes I, I just vlog is like just going completely not as planned I originally wanted to do like a morning coffee sit and chat but the coffee is not tasting good so I'm just like you know what I'm gonna do a grocery store run and have y'all come with me I wanted to do a grocery I wanted to do a coffee chat because I wanted to talk about um, how to deal with mean comments online and I know I touched on that topic yesterday in my vlog that I posted yesterday on Saturday but I just said like <laughs> what's happening and I oh shit I didn't really say like how I deal with it um but I'll, I'll maybe I'll you know do a proper sit down chat and talk about like how I deal with rude people online um because really at the end of the day 
and this is something I have to learn, I have had to learn over the years is it's so easy to want to reciprocate their rudeness. Like, and I've totally done that before. Been there, done that, uh, was rude back to them. Oh, Walmart's kind of empty today. Oh, I wish there was a shaded spot. Let me see if I can find a shaded spot. But as I was saying, it's so easy and tempting to want to reciprocate the rudeness back. But you got to realize that people who are being mean to you, people who are being mean to a stranger online, their life is already extremely fucking miserable. Like in order for you to attack strangers, in order for these people to attack and belittle strangers online, their life is very fucking miserable. And maybe it is a little, it's quite belittling of, I'm belittling them when I say that, but I'm only speaking facts. When they attack me, they're just coming up with these really mean statements that have no base value. It just makes no sense. They'll call me names, like just literally the comment section of that really uh, crazy post where I got like over a thousand likes on my comment. They were calling me dumb. They were calling me a joke. They were saying, you know, they were just being really mean to me. I just want to have a little bit of shade on. And for what? I could have reciprocated and I could have called them dumb, but then I'm thinking, you know what? Kill them with kindness. And I know that there's this cliche, and I truly believe it, that when people say, you know, treat everyone with kindness, they usually are the most, <laughs> like when people have like, be kind in their Instagram profile, those people are usually the least kind people in the entire world. It's like so funny to me and ironic, but um, I'm gonna go to that parking spot. I don't know if I can squeeze in there. Ugh. Uh -oh. no, no. no! But yeah, I do find that people who are like, be kind, be kind, practice kindness. There's no kindness in the world. Those people are usually the least kind people. But when I say kill them with kindness, I really do mean it. Like don't reciprocate their meanness. Oh, there's an empty spot, but there's a lot of water there. I'll accept it. Don't retaliate with rudeness because it's only gonna get you so far. Like I realized that whenever I reply to a mean comment with something just as low and something just as mean, I feel literally so awful in my heart. Not because like I'm feeling bad for them, but I'm just like, oh my God, I'm stooping to their level. And when they say something so mean, I feel like I am just as low as them because in elementary school, there is this counselor, the school counselor said that when you point your finger at someone, you're pointing three fingers back at you. Cause you know, you're like, you're so mean. Well, one, two, three, you're, I'm mean. And that's how I feel about like, oh, I can't. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this vlog is going to shit. I want to make a proper sit down talk. Um, but anyways, I'm going to make a proper sit down talk for now. I'm just going to go to Walmart until I get some proper coffee in my brain. I just cannot function. So come to Walmart with me. That's the vlog. And then I'll do a part two and just have a little dealing with haters kind of, oh my God, this vlog is so bad. Sorry guys. Mimi is just whining. She's just such a big whiner and it really gets to me sometimes. Mimi, I'm almost such a good little boy. But yes, kill them with kindness. It is very cliche, but oh my God, this sun. Oh no, no, no I'm not staying here. I parked near this very big puddle, which, wow, it actually looks very cool on camera, but it's kind of inconvenient. Seems like a storm is brewing. Fun at the Walmart parking lot. It is so humid today. It is so, so humid today, and it is just an atrocity that it is November because it literally feels like the middle of June. It's so, the weather is just so icky and I'm just like so, well that's what you have, you know, suburban Texas. <laughs> what more am I expecting? 
this time last year I was in the beautiful New York. The weather was the weather there was very cold, but it's better than this. I'd rather have cold weather in the fall than just disgusting disgusting weather, but it's okay. I will be indoors soon. Martha. decided to take a rest. Mama. Okay, that Walmart run was so fucking chaotic. Like, everyone was super friendly, most people. I got like one disapproving nod from this lady who had her mask literally half up. Like she was covering only her mouth and not her nose. But other than that, everyone, including most of the Walmart workers were like super friendly towards Mimi and Momo and they were well behaved for the most part. They would just not walk. They would just like lie down, which I understand because they're waiting for me to finish shopping. But then after they're finished, after I've finished like choosing my item, they still want to lay down. They're like, oh my God, it's so boring. I don't want to walk. But other than that, they were pretty well behaved. And uh, now I'm going home. That was a really chaotic Walmart grind. And it's so hot today. I'm like extremely disappointed because it's like the middle of November, November 6th. But I'm gonna go home and make myself a proper iced coffee. I'm actually sort of craving matcha for some reason all of a sudden. Like I don't want coffee for some reason now, but you know what? I went all that way just to grab some milk and I didn't grab soy milk, so I'm just gonna make my coffee. Like if I'm gonna make matcha, I make it with soy milk instead of coffee because, oh my gosh. Um, that person had a stop sign and she literally just, Okay. Whenever I make matcha, I make it with soy milk instead of coffee because soy milk doesn't, like apparently cow's milk like makes you not absorb the nutrition or something, but whatever. I'm actually like, I'm actually like sort of blind today because I didn't wear my night contact. So it's actually a good thing I went to uh, Walmart because it's the only store that carries the solution I use it. I use it that I use um, so I just didn't wear my night contacts last night so I'm not like entirely blind but just a little blurry everything okay, that car's gonna let me thank you literally some crazy car just caught me and it's just like what the fuck with that and we're driving a fucking BMW like calm down like just to get to HEB like what the fuck is wrong with you seriously some people just don't have the right of mind like it Honestly, if, 20, if 2022 taught me anything, it's that how crazy people are. Like before 2022, I know that there's crazy people in the world, but I realize how sheltered I am because some people truly are just insane. And it's not like I haven't dealt with these crazy drivers before, but it's just like a accumulation of um, really mean people and then these crazy drivers just now. <laughs> just some people are really crazy. I didn't wear sunscreen today, so my skin is just looking awful. But yeah, just like some fucking BMW, some gray BMW literally just caught me and I'm just like, what are you saving? Like, what are you trying to show? What do you, what do you get out of that? Like. Are I don't know. I don't get people who like really zigzag through highways. Like that literally is a traffic accident waiting to happen. No more storage. I think my video just automatically shut off. 
I don't know if y'all heard the spiel I said about how the Dorito food scientist makes the chips super addicting. And while I'm not eating Doritos, I'm pretty sure all chip companies do very similar things to make their chips addicting. But I don't know if that part got cut off. one trip girl. Only well, I mean, it depends. I sometimes take multiple trips, but for this, I am one trip. <sighs> All right, so here are some of the things I got. You know, like I said, I got some chips, two of these. I love the spicy table flavor. I ate some of this in the car. I haven't had Milano cookies in forever, but I've been craving it, so. Like, I literally haven't had this in years, like maybe 10 years. Um, some waterproof sunscreen because tomorrow we are going to a sort of like a watery resort. That's one, and then I got my solution, cleansing solution. Um, I got this like tooth, tooth uh, brush holder for traveling, and also it said you can use it for every day which I'm excited to try. I got these like really cool looking toothbrushes. I don't know, like look at that. It's really interesting. It's about to massage and revitalize your gum gums. And my gums are like low key receding. Anyways. And then I got this, my favorite chapstick by Burt's Bee. I love this color, the Red Dahlia. All right, and then I got my, I got some so I, <laughs> I went to Walmart literally just for this milk and I got a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, I got 2% milk, which, which is what I normally use in my coffee. Further away, my 2% milk. And then I got some goat milk for Mimi and Momo because apparently goat milk is really good for dogs because it's easier on their digestive system. And then last but not least, I got two Cheerios. I got the chocolate Cheerio and the honey nut Cheerio. I haven't tried the chocolate Cheerio before, I think. So yeah, that's my little Walmart haul. Thank you for, you know, coming along. And uh, maybe I'll take you along for my coffee again. But I shall see about that. Cover photo. <laughs> right, thank you so much for coming along with my Walmart trip and I hope you enjoyed. What are some of the more interesting things that you think that I got? I feel like this is probably the most interesting one um, or the toothbrush. Bye. Going to make myself a proper cup of coffee with real milk. weird um i want hot coffee i just tried some of the goat milk and it tastes awful to me let's see if momo likes it Okay, let's see if I can make a latte art. Oh, I think the milk is too foamy. <laughs> ah! Oh, look, it's a heart. A very deformed heart, but it actually looked like a real heart in real life. Let's do a taste test. So much better. Oh my God, all that work for just a good cup of coffee. All right, now that I have a good cup of coffee, it's not the best. I don't know why if it's because the milk I use is not usually the brand I buy. I mean, it's not my favorite cup, which is a little disappointing, but it's better than, you know, with the almond milk. Um, I want to try the chocolate Cheerio. I don't know if I had this before, but it piques my curiosity. Oh, look.
It tastes like Cheerio. Didn't really have a chocolate flavor. Ooh, it's disappointing. It's very disappointing. Oh. Ooh. All right, the second item I really want to try are these Milano cookies. These are the holiday version, the holiday limited edition, double dark chocolate. Double dark chocolate. Y'all, I haven't had a Milano cookie in, I think, a really long time. I completely forgot what they look like. Oh, they have the white wrapper. Well, these are way smaller than I remembered. Nothing spectacular. I would literally give this a 3 out of 10. It's like you're eating sandpaper. Y'all, okay, I just realized that today it's actually daylight saving time. I did not notice. Like, today I woke up and it was sort of early for me. And I'm just like, why do I feel like I slept enough? And I'm like, maybe I didn't sleep enough. But then I just realized it daylight savings. And it is noon. And apparently it's already 1. So I'm literally having coffee at 1 p.m. Uh-oh. Very good, be daddy do it a hot to do all. Before I forget, like and subscribe.